so before Super Tokens, we actually started this other company called Quali. Um, so when I was working at this venture capital firm, like I quit to basically start that company and that company didn't work out, right? Like basically like we, we were growing well, we got users, but it was like a free consumer company and like, you know, the monetization wasn't pretty clear. Um, but what, what we ended up doing there is like, we built like some in interesting tech, like a bunch of different, really interesting things. And one of those things had to do with authentication. Um, and specifically, very specifically to do with something called session management, which is like this one piece of the puzzle in the overall authentication space. But that piece was not being solved for well at that point in time. Um, you know, it was like a big security vulnerability for even very large companies. And we saw that most like, you know, companies were just not handling that piece of authentication well. Um, or securely. So, um, so yeah, so we were like, okay, we've got this thing. Let's just write a blog post about it. Like just talk about how it works. Um, and you'll see how people respond. And then we wrote like two very extensive pieces on session management and what is the flow that we recommend and how we have built it out for ourselves. And that blog post actually did really well. You know, it got like, like tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of views. We had people from all over the world reach out. Um, it was like the first piece of content we'd ever written and we we're like, okay, fine. Like clearly people think this is, this is interesting. So yeah, so then we were like, okay, let's let's see what we can do with this. We got into YC with that. And then there was always like, again, we didn't know too much about like, you know, a lot of these things. It was like the whole, it was a lot, a lot of it was new for us. So there was always a back and forth debate between open source, closed source, then from moving from session management to an overall authentication play, right? Like not just solving one piece of the puzzle, but the entire puzzle itself. So, um, so yeah, that, that didn't just came through the journey. It wasn't like the first, the first part of it was not, oh, I want to build something open source. It was very much like that came much after the fact. We've got contributions from like small things like typos and improvements in docs to all the way to like building full features and, you know, like months of time of engineering effort of someone really good. So, you know, that would be worth like tens of thousands of dollars each. So, so it's like the whole range of contributions. I think we have several hundred contributors across all the repos. Um, I think as an open source company, the, the, the thing that you always have to figure that you get right is how do you structure the product in terms of being free as well as being paid, right? You obviously need to make sure that this becomes a good business, but at the same time, you want to stay true to like making sure that you're delivering value to people in the sense that like, you know, if you're a developer, you're building a side app, you should be able to use super tokens for free. And then there should be like a lot of, there should be a lot of use cases, which should be free and they shouldn't have to pay you. Um, but at the same time, you want to be able to make sure that your fortune five, like your largest companies in the world that have billions of dollars can pay you, right. That they're not being able to use the product for free. So getting that balance right is, is always tricky. And obviously you end up giving away more for free than you'd like. Like we have now companies that run super tokens on the scale of millions of users, large companies, um, and they end up doing that for free. Right. Um, so, so that's always something you need to make sure you get right. <laughs> We've crossed 8,000 GitHub stars now, which is like the public metric. You know, we've, um, I think according to Runa Capital, they released this Ross index of fastest growing startups every year, right? So we won the top 20 fastest growing startup, open source startups from last year. Um, I, I mean, a lot of our metrics are public. Like you can look at like our NPM downloads. I think we've now crossed 40, 50,000 monthly downloads of our Node SDK. Um, so over 10,000 weekly downloads of our, of, on NPM. Um, yeah, I mean, we have, you know, uh, thousands of apps using super tokens today. So I was speaking with Cam from Linen.dev, uh, who I uh, saw so you use Linen for, for your community page. And so Cam told me that super tokens is his favorite project. And he pointed out that he likes, you guys can do more with less. Uh, and I, I reckon this relates to funding and to hiring. So just very curious to hear uh, your take on this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We've been pretty lean throughout. Um, we, we've not spent much money. Uh, I mean, I would say typically like for an open source dev tool and dev infrastructure company, I think we've raised fairly less and spent very less. I would say that uh, again, maybe this is a bit of a bold claim, but I would say that today, like we're widely regarded as like one of the mainstream authentication providers. Like if you see like someone uh, like evaluating auth options, we typically get featured in that evaluation. Um, and we've done managed to do that with not much at all um, in terms of like relatively compared to the other people who are who also feature in that list. Um, so yeah. What, um, what do you think were the, have been the highest leverage points? Uh, surely it starts with product, but any auxiliary activity you did that helped with that adoption? Just like the entire culture and philosophy of how we built the company, like, you know, um, obviously we work really hard, right? So like, which means you need less people if you work really hard. So, um, so that's, that's one thing. Um, and then, I mean, also it's not like, you know, we did everything in three months. Like we've, 
like a lot of it is done by like a small group of people and we've done it like passionately and, and over time right so it's been a few years since we've been doing this right so we didn't like you could obviously raise much more money and then do it in three months um, but then we think that like we think the amount of time we've taken is also the right amount because you get to learn a lot as you're developing right so there have been a lot of like really interesting insights that by virtue of doing everything ourselves we've learned a lot from the market we've learned a lot from customers from users um so yeah so i think um i think those two and then obviously being in india obviously also helps because engineering costs are much much less than than in the u.s the team is about uh about 15 to 18 people now um um it's kind of spread out across the world like a lot of it in india like the majority of people in india but we do have people in europe and the u.s as well um yeah and i think we always have a couple of positions open we always are looking for good people so there are always a couple of positions open being open source has definitely helped us with hiring, at least like in terms of like a funnel, like a hiring funnel. I think there are a couple of hires we've made, a couple like a couple of people that have worked in the product that we just that just would not have been possible if we weren't open source. Like the only reason they reached out or the only reason they applied or the only reason they even contributed is because we were open source, right? And that's all been very meaningfully advantageous to us. Like we've seen a customer, for example, like like people really want support help from us like they want to pay us for support to implement super tokens for them right like um there are a lot of companies that actually do pay us and want to pay us for support services certain kinds of companies cannot do self serve with super tokens because auth is just such a core part of the infrastructure right so they need to have like these specific questions that even if it's there in the docs and all they just want to talk to someone to talk through it Absolutely. like they want to do like an architecture review or something like that and uh, this this type of support is it something that you know only the the team members could could help with or could a community member an expert in the community uh, help a customer in this kind of way? Over time, I think definitely a community member could like hundred percent. But I think the you need to be a little bit bigger and like I guess like a community member needs to be financially incentivized to want to spend that kind of time, right? There was a time when we couldn't get three people to use the product, right? And and I think we've def that's definitely changed, like. There are like a very large number of people now using super tokens and using it consistently in production. So I think we've proven like broad based adoption and broad based like ability, like propensity for people to want to use super tokens. I think now it's just like, you know, can you continue to scale? Can you continue to do that? Like, you know, at bigger and bigger scales and with larger and larger companies. So, um, so we've done that with like a certain type of company. Now you want to, you want the product to become even more um mature so you want to go after even larger and larger companies so i think that's like sort of the next milestone i just hope people find this useful and and if there's any other questions i'm always happy to answer them and people are feel free to like you know always feel free to reach out